In this video, we are going to conduct a more practical example using the HMC voice command software for 3D Coat. And we'll start here in the Retapo workspace, and we will do a little bit of work in the Sculpt workspace as well. What I really want to demonstrate here is how a user can get into a nice uninterrupted flow without having to divert their attention away from the model or the work they're doing on it by digging through the tool panel or having to sort through the spacebar menu or dig through menu list or even look down at the keyboard searching for hotkey combinations or trying to remember what hotkeys you assigned to certain tools. This lets you just say what you need and stay completely locked in on your model. One of the things I like most about this voice command software is it makes using the minimalist layout much more practical to use. For example, without the voice command software, I would have to spend time assigning custom hotkeys to all the different layer and asset panels, as well as various tools. I would then have to try and remember all those newly assigned keys. Conversely, with voice commands, I'm totally free from those concerns. I can just say the name of the tool, menu item, or panel, and they all come right to my cursor. I am listening. Brush. Okay, so for example, here I am in the Retapo workspace using the brush tool for a little while to tweak the geometry. Select. Transform. Enter. 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 Vertices. Relax. 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 Escape. Escape. Edges. Bevel. Select edges, relax, relax, expand, expand, relax, relax, escape, slide edges. Brush. Auto snap. Cap. Sculpt. I'm now going to use voice commands for multi-resolution options. Add lowest level from Retapo room. Sleep. Beginning sleep mode. You must press wake button for me to start listening. What 3D Code is going to do is generate multiple levels between the Retapo mesh and the current high poly mesh. And that will take about 30 seconds for it to calculate. I'll speed up the playback during this time frame. I am listening. Wireframe. Step up. Step up. Step up. 
Step up. Step up. Bottom level. Step up. Top level. Step down. Step down. Step down. Wireframe. Symmetry panel. Move, brush panel, Clay. Trim adaptive. Relax standard. Rapid. All right, if I hold down the shift key, it will temporarily suspend the voice command software from listening. That way I can talk. I am currently at a lower subdivision level, which is a good time to make basic edits to the overall surface without degrading the high frequency details at the upper levels. For example, I can use a smooth brush, polishing brushes, or the move tool, things like that to make basic edits. And then when I switch to upper subdivision levels, those details will still be preserved. Smooth. Relax standard. Top level. As you can see, we still have the skin pour detail, even though we smoothed on a lower level. So for example, I may want to do the same here in the lip area. I want to smooth this shape right where my cursor is, the very center but I want to keep all the pores here at the top level. 
Step down. Step down. Step down. Brush panel. Rapid. Move. Relax standard. Clay. Smooth. Relax standard. Top level. Multi-resolution panel. Layer panel. And for what it's worth, this little artifact on the lower left side of the model is from where the object was hollow on the bottom at one point and after creating some layers it was later capped and of course making structural changes to a mesh is a kind of a no-no so i have to relax this little uh, artifact smooth Sleep. Beginning sleep mode. Hold shift key and say wake for me to start listening or press wake button. All right, we are going to bring this video to a close. We will pick up in the next one looking at a brand new feature addition to this voice command software, and that is the ability to add custom brushes to the voice command software list. So stay tuned and thank you for watching.